Hey guys, welcome back to this week's installment of Around the East look at sports ministry news. It's week three here and Sarah and Emily are with you and we're going to look at a couple different stories from around the world today. So our first story takes us to the land down under, that's right, Australia. The 21st Commonwealth Games just happened in Australia and they had more than 4,500 athletes participating from 71 countries and territories. Um, and 275 gold medals were won in a span of just 11 days. And so for the event, they had 10 different chaplains come and visit. Um, they were there to provide support um, to all the teams and all the coaches um, that were there as well. The UK team provided a Easter service um, for the team from England. And one of the chaplains from the UK said that they were available in a pastoral role for any of the athletes, but for the Christian athletes, they provided Bible studies and corporate worship sessions. Um, because of the nature of the competition, the chaplain said that they were able to provide stability um, throughout the chaos of athletics and the uncertainty and the distance from home. Um, what a cool example of international sports ministry happening on one of the biggest stages. In our next story, we're talking about WNBA draft. Um, number one pick, Asia Wilson. She was Las Vegas Aces, um, selected by them. And she was just talking about some foundations that helped her throughout her collegiate experience in playing basketball and some things that she's looking forward to as she goes into the WNBA. But she um, was quoted saying that in the face of adversity, there's been times throughout her, her collegiate experience and basketball career so far that she struggled with and she stated the fact of having great coaching staff is important and people around her to help her out through those things but she also emphasized prayer and I know we've talked about that in sports ministry one of the foundations is prayer mm -hmm. and um, in anything that we do we need prayer we need that relationship with the Lord to help spur us on and everything else that um, we can do she said that it's kept her humble and um, helps her be encouraged to keep pushing on Thanks, Emily, for looking at that story. We're going to look at our final story today. We're going to go to football. Um, the current North Light Community Church pastor, Kurt Kloger, he started out his career not on the pulpit, um, but on the football field. According to Sports Spectrum, Kloger's drastic life drastically changed one night at an FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, event in which a Minnesota Vikings linebacker that he idolized growing up was speaking. Kloger was so changed by the message that he gave his life to Christ that night. He would go on to play for four different NFL teams, the Dallas Cowboys, the Buffalo Bills, the Green Bay Packers, and even the Minnesota Vikings, his hometown team. And though his career was cut short due to injury, he knew he had a greater calling. Um, 30 years later, he decided to plant a church in Minnesota in 2016 in a town of only 5,500 people. With 60 people in attendance for the first worship service, Ploger said he's continuing to look forward to reach the people in Byron, Minnesota. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for next week when we talk about more sports news from around the East. Woo!